Millions of Americans checked their bank accounts this week, hoping to see that stimulus money. Some of them got it. Others are wondering why they have not. And some are asking why they got less than they thought they would. 11 Alive financial expert Andrew Poulos has been working hard to answer your questions about your stimulus money. This one comes from Ken. He says he just filed his 2019 taxes. He's asking if his check is initially paid based on his 2018 income. Will he get a revised amount once they process his new tax information. A great question and folks are having those questions because of the change in income between 18 and 19. Uh, the, there will be a revision meaning he'll uh, see some more money but it's not going to be until the 2020 return is filed uh, during tax season 2021. So if, if the stimulus has already been issued and you didn't get the full amount uh, they're not going to go back and revise it right now. Sarah asks, if parents do not qualify for the stimulus package, are their dependents still eligible for that $500? Okay, so just some clarity here. If parents have dependents on the tax return, on the 18 or 19 tax return, and the return doesn't qualify, meaning that you're over the $75,000 or $150,000 phase out limit, and you've been totally phased out, then your children aren't going to qualify you either for the 500. Uh, if the child is over 17 in filing on their own, uh, then uh, and you've been claimed on them uh, as a dependent on your return, then neither one is going to get any sort of benefit out of the stimulus check. We've heard from a lot of people using the IRS payment tracker who say they've been getting an error message, payment status not available, and those people are sharing an oddly specific set of circumstances when it comes to their tax filings. We have a story in the As Seen on TV section of our 11 Alive app. You can head there to learn more about what's going on with that tracker.